What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into um, Yo DJ Star, Storytime, Summer, The Scammer. This is 26 Minutes. Let's get it. Storytime. Grab a drink, get a snack, kick your feet up and relax. Subscribe, like, and comment and all that. Because <laughs> story times are back. Speaking of snacks, right now in the comments, comment, what's your favorite type of snack to eat? Like, what's your go-to snack? What's your go-to drinks? What y'all got? Juice, wine, mm, what y'all like? Chips, candy bars, candy. Yeah. Like, let me know right now in the comments, what's your go-to snacks? I hope y'all missed me just as much as I missed y'all, because I really miss y'all. I love reading y'all comments, my God. It makes my day. I love responding back to y'all. I love when y'all post pictures showing me that y'all actually tuning into my story times, whether it's from your phone, your iPads, your tablets, or your big screen TVs. And y'all be posting me, and y'all be tagging me, and y'all be spreading the word, telling y'all friends. And I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm really glad that you guys are here to help me grow my channel. It really means a lot to me, more than you would ever know. Now, without further ado, on today's episode of Storytime with Star, we're going to talk about uh, Good Girl Gone Bad. Now, before I get into the whole story, I want you guys to know that I felt last story time was not my fault at all. I had nothing to do with that. Okay. This story time, I do have to take somewhat of a little accountability because I do feel like I instigated some things that happened in this story time. So regardless, the fact that it did not work out in my favor, whatever the case may be, it just wasn't my fault. All 100%. 50% yes 100% I just won't claim that so let's get okay. into it shall we this shit was your the story fault. time good girl gone bad is yeah. basically about a girl I used to date by the name of we're gonna call her Summer Summer was one of the sweetest girls I've ever met a little backstory I had just got out of a really toxic relationship we used to live together we finalized everything with the lease it really wasn't too bad at the end because I realized that still I was moving in with him I think she realized that look it's over now so i feel like she was trying to be more of my friend than like the crazy psycho ex that she was when we was in a relationship we could do a story time on her later but right now this is about summer so when i met summer she was so sweet she was so patient she was so kind honestly she was the opposite of what i was used to in my previous relationship so that really stood out to me a little backstory on how summer and i met i was at a concert the concert was cool the concert was over outside walking and summer kind of stopped me I was like hey i like your shoes i was kind of drunk so i looked her dead in the face and i said hey i think i like you one thing uh about me i'm a flirt i was a big flirt i'm a very charming person i feel like i can flirt with people and not mean anything i feel like it's completely harmless is it wrong maybe but at the same time that was just me i just kind of like making people feel good is please don't take it to heart you would know like i'm the type of person where i feel like you would know when it's time for me to start applying pressure other than that it's just a joke just kind of laugh it off and keep going about your business so yeah summer's like like, hey she kind of stopped me she's like i think i like your shoes and i looked at her i said hey i think i like you kind of bit my lip turned around walked off she grabbed me pulled me back and bit said my well, lip is a bit dramatic don't you think oh if you think you like me then why haven't you asked for my number Ooh, smooth my jaw i just got a relationship haven't really been talked to anybody just kind of was in that mode where it's like okay i want to live my life i want to be happy i don't want to be pressured i don't want to have any type of obligations whatever so someone was kind of one of the first people that i was like willing to contact be in contact with after my relationship Kip. Y'all know how it go. We spend hours upon hours texting, talking on the phone, updating each other day by day. Like, hey, when we're going to hang out, let's go on a date. Y'all know how it is with my kind of people, if you know what I mean. We tend to move fast. Very. You haul, if you will. Uh -huh. First date was summer, we went to an arcade. You know, we just really got a chance for us to see each other's personality. We was kind of competing against each other. I'm so talking about, I done moved somebody, well, moved, yeah, moved somebody in the next day. Tw twice? Did that happen twice? Oh, that's so stupid. Games we play on teams. And I'm just really three times. Our... That happened to me four times. That even happened with honey sauce. <laughs> Vibe. I'm like, damn, you know what? It's just so soft on this side. It's so much easier. I feel like I was walking on eggshells with my previous ex, and it's just like, mm, I really didn't like that. With Summer, everything was just so soft. Everything was sweet, and I was really digging her vibe. Me and Summer continued to kick it after that, and I would just always tell her, like, man, you're just so different. I'm not used to dating people like you, but I really love it. Like, it was really sparking my interest. I feel like times when we're so used to dating a certain person or, like, you know, certain people with characteristics that when we finally, like, left, and we really be, I'm sorry, I got it. we really be thinking of something and it really ain't. <laughs> On to something else is like gives us a high because we're not really used to it. So I feel like that's kind of what made me like chase Summer in the first place. She was just different and I was intrigued. A couple of months passed, like I would go to her house, she would come to mine, she would spend the night at my house, I spend the night, like it was just a lot of back and forth, especially like during the weekend. 
one day I was leaving Summer House and she was like, hey, hold on, I have something to give you. And I went back up to the door and she gave me a key to her house. I told y'all, it moved fast over here, baby. If you don't know, you better ask somebody. You probably got some friends or relatives or even coworkers, you know what I'm saying? But just ask them. It just, it just moves kind of fast. Very she much gave me so. a key to her house and I just felt like, wow, this just seems so right. She's like, anytime you want to just, you know, kind of get away or take a break, feel free to come to my crib. You know, mi casa su casa. You can, you know, drink my drinks, eat my snacks, whatever. Just relax. I don't care. Like, my home is your home. I just want to welcome you into my home. Cute. So yes, in return, I'm like, okay, she gave me a key to her house so I can only return the favor. So I did this whole little flower setup, had the candles lit, and I wrapped my key up in a little box. So I called Summer over, gave her a key to my house. So I'm like, you know what? She doesn't seem toxic. I feel safe. She can be in my house without me being home. Like, I feel like she's a good person. You know, she has a good judge of character, everything. So of course, she can have a key to my house. Cute. <laughs> and that might have been my first mistake of many. And trust me, I already know what a lot of y'all are thinking, but the thing about me is I'm not afraid to admit that yes, I have been young. Yes, I have made a plethora of mistakes, but I have learned. I've lived, yes, I've learned even more. So don't judge me, Hello. please. But anyway, after only maybe two months of talking, I ain't I've gonna lie, a that's what it's about. Cause girl, in my twenties, oh, ooh, stupid. Key to summer house. I gave summer the key to my house. Everything. Kid. Now I meet up with one of my friends, and she's like, "Yeah, I see that you've been all cozied up under summer. Like, let me know about her. Like, how are things with you guys? Like, tell me all the tea. Cause me and my friend haven't been like talking and hanging. Y'all know how it is. I feel like sometimes when we start dating certain people, we kind of kick our friends to the side. Not really like you know doing bad, but it's just like, look, I'm just trying to kick it with my boo tonight, or I want to hang out with my boo. You know, trying just like. To Girl, I don't want to be bothered with you. I want to get some. I want to do it all the time, especially us. When we uh, start dating a woman, us lesbians is what I mean. Girl, we instantly doing it every day my boo better so our friends kind of like you know take a step back so you know i was explaining to my friend like i like summer she's a gorgeous girl i love her ways she's very sweet she's very goal oriented but i think it's too good to be true she's just too sweet she's you know good morning babe have a great day love you da, da, da. and i think i was just so used to my ex being like you know toxic and us like kind of arguing every now and then that with summer We've been dating for almost three months and we haven't even had one argument. My friend was trying to tell me like, you know, some people are just different. You know, maybe she shows her love different. Maybe she's not used to that, whatever. But she's telling me like, look, Star Young, don't mess it up. I feel like that's a good thing for you because none of my friends liked my ex. They did not like the fact that we were together. They just really didn't like her at all. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to hang in there. Maybe you're right. I just feel like it's just, you know, like a little boring. Not saying that the toxic stuff is like, you know, exciting. But I just kind of, I found it hard to believe that we've been talking for almost three months as women and we still haven't had anything to butt heads about it just seemed too good to be true mm. uh, another thing that i would do a lot is self-sabotage but like i said i was younger i learned my lesson but i definitely was just trying to figure out like hmm what's the catch so okay i had a nice little friend date with my friend going over summer's house for the night we're gonna spend that over there and then get up and go to work so still thinking about what me and my friend talked about i got around summer and i was like do you think that this is too good to be true She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I don't know. Like, we don't argue. We don't bump heads. Everything is just, like, perfect. But I do understand that in life, nothing is perfect. But this just seemed like the picture-perfect relationship. And for some odd reason, that kind of scared me. So I was even mm. asking her, like, you know, in your previous relationships, like, did you have issues? Did you guys argue? Like, what were the deal breakers? And she looked at me right in my eyes and she said, oh, I don't have any exes. This is my first relationship. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's almost like credit. Get out of high school, don't have no credit. They not about to give you a house. You know what I'm saying? You're in your 20s and I'm the first person you've ever dated. And y'all, she not laughing. She's not snickering. She looks so serious. And I'm just like, wait, I'm, I'm waiting for the joke. I'm waiting for her to be like, oh, psych or it's a prank, whatever. She stood her whole, she stood her ground the whole time. She's like, yeah, this is my first real relationship. I haven't dated anyone. Now, dealing with me, on the other hand, Summer was probably the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, nine, nine. I, I dated a lot of women before Summer. Let's just right. leave it at that, okay? Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie, y'all. That was a big red flag to me. Like, I can understand, like, you've dated people, but you're like the whole, oh, I don't got no exes. I don't want nobody claiming me type of person. Kip. But to be almost 25 and to say you don't have any exes, you've never dated, you've never been in a real relationship, and I'm the very first... That kind of creeped me out, not gonna lie. So I'm continuing to try to like question her about it, but she's like, look, you should be lucky. You're the first person to have me, this, this, and that. Don't worry. Like, I don't want to be with anyone else. I just like you. I'm glad that you're the first person. Like, y'all, I the whole night, like she went sound asleep, and I was just up just thinking, like, wow. 
Like, am I the first person she's talked? Like, I just couldn't believe it. I keep thinking about it, hearing my friend's voice in my head telling me, like, don't self-sabotage. Just let it be. Some things are just, you know, working out for whatever. Don't think anything of it. Because I, like, I try not to, you know, think bad. But it's like, something is not right. I ended up having car issues on my car one day. So Summer volunteered to, like, you know, she's like, I'll pick you up. I'll drop you off at work, whatever, whatever. Don't worry about it. Like, we'll just wait. We'll figure something out until your cock out the shop. Cool. So the next morning, Summer wakes up. You know, she, we ride to work or whatever. She drops me off and a girl comes she's like oh my god is that summer so she's running towards the car like because she sees some, she recognizes summer and mind you this is a girl that i work with like at my job so i'm trying to see like what's tea because how you know my boo hmm. and the vibes i was getting like the girl was so happy to talk to summer to see summer and summer was kind of like mm, yeah get away from me get out of my face whatever and i'm just like dang i've never seen summer be mean and rude remember y'all she was the nicest sweetest person i have ever met so it's just like to see her in that light it's like mm, why are you being rude like why are you mm -hmm. being mean so anyway i politely interrupt because i saw that it was getting awkward because the girl is literally so excited to talk to summer summer is like rolling her eyes at this point so i hug summer i give her a kiss i tell her what time i'm getting off work and then me and the girl walk in the building together and i'm like you know summer she's like yeah i used to work with her at my old job she's a pretty cool girl i'm so glad that she's calmed down and everything like that she was blah blah, blah. Wait, wait, wait what you mean she's calmed down right she goes oh yeah everybody at that job knew summer was kind of crazy she was always in crazy situations even one time they had appointed a counselor to come up there and talk to her that a lot she was a great worker but outside of work she was basically like a psycho Mind y'all, mm. this is news to me because, like I said, I've only known the sweet, like, soft-hearted um, Summer. So it's like, what is she talking about? Like, if y'all don't think that I was after that tea, oh, I had to get it. I really hate to interrupt your great story time, but it's time for a small commercial break from the brands that have sent me things. First of all, I'm so excited. I love when you guys send me things. and I I'm happy that y'all sending her stuff. But I will say we are here. For the story time. Every time I open a P.O. box, y'all don't send me shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't never send me shit. Okay. Texas, Texas is in awesome, y'all. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And now, let's get back to the story time. So, boom, y'all. I'm at work and all the tea for my coworker. I ain't gonna lie, this is something I should do. <laughs> call her Polly. And Polly is basically telling me, like, oh, Summer is actually crazy. A lot of her exes, ho, uh, 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 exes, exes is in like she used to date people because she told me she didn't have any exes she also told me that i was like the first person she ever dated so what exes are you talking about polly polly then begins to spill all the beans saying oh she dated so many people a lot of people would come to the job and complain about her a lot of people press charges on her she's just like really really crazy but she's like but you know she's with someone like you so she obviously must have calmed down i mean did she what Mind y'all, at this point, me and Summer have been dating for three months and not one sign of her being aggressive, of her being like psycho, crazy, none of that stuff. She didn't talk. Now like that would have had me nervous. She wasn't toxic. Her communication skills was A1. So what is Polly talking about? Y'all, I could not wait to get off work and confront Summer because like this girl not wouldn't just be making her. this stuff up or could she? Right now in the comments, y'all, it's time for us to have a little chat. If you're talking to somebody and you hear something about them, do you confront them with the information or are you like, well, nah, um, I'm gonna see if it's meant for me to see, I'll come across it, whatever, whatever like that. Do you just sweep it under the rug? What's type So I will say I can't sweep it up under the rug. I will say though, I wouldn't have like I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what I would have did in my twenties at this point. But in my thirties I would have had to smooth it right on in there. Because depending on how you approach a person is how they going to say what it is that they feel as though they need to say. And it ain't always the best type are you? Are you the type to approach them about it or just pretend like you never heard it or never seen it? Let me know. So y'all, okay, we work the day, whatever. Summer comes pick me up. I get in the car and I can tell like her mood is off. Like me, one thing about me, I'm gonna feel the energy. The energy was off for the first time ever. So I'm like, what's really going on? Mm. Summer's like, I'm gonna have to ask you like you and that girl. And she said her name, Polly. She's like, you guys talk at work. Like what's your, like what's you guys vibe? Like what's the relationship like? I'm like, well, Polly's oh, cool. Oh, so she brought it to her even better. Sometimes we have to communicate because we work on the same line or something like that. Maybe we're helping each other out. But other than that, I don't really talk to Polly. I wouldn't consider her a friend she's just a co-worker that's it why so summer then begins to tell me like oh she's just a very weird girl like i try to stay away from her like she does very like strange things or whatever like i used to work with her and everybody used to kind of like steer clear she had no friends that a lot basically just kind of dragging polly and i'm like wow i know i've been working with polly for over a year and she never gave me those type of vibes i don't know if polly line i don't know if summer line but what i do know is i'm gonna get down to the bottom of it 
Y'all, the whole way home, someone was basically just telling me about events that supposedly happened at their old job with Polly and how she can't believe Polly is even working a job. Polly belongs in the crazy house after Polly telling me that Summer had actually went to the crazy house. But whatever. We made it home. I finally got in the house. I'm taking my shoes off. You know, I'm kind of unwinding. I've been at work all day, whatever the case may be. So then I just interrupt Summer like, okay, now it's my turn to ask you a couple of questions. Right. And before I even got to ask my question, I told her like, look, I'm not trying to start any drama or anything like that. But I'm just kind of concerned about some things that Polly told me about you as far as you guys work together at the old job. Summer's like, okay, what's up? I'm like, for some odd reason, she thinks you're like crazy, psycho. She said that you had dated so many exes. They would come up to the job and complain about you, this, this, and that. And Summer literally cut me off and was like, wait, enough. Like, oh, huh? I wasn't finished yet, but uh, okay. That was actually the first time I even heard her raise her voice. Like, oh, you can yell? Hmm. She's like, I don't want to hear anything that crazy girl has to say. All she does is lie and make up stuff. She's very delusional. Don't tell me anything else she has to say. But wait, I we need to kind of talk about enough, this stuff. Enough, enough is crazy. Why are you getting so upset? Y'all, anytime <clears throat> I tried to finish my sentence on the stuff that Polly was saying and stuff like that, Summer would just cut me off. So I told her, like, I don't think it's fair that you're not even letting me finish. You're not even hearing me out. She's like, I don't care what she has to say. She's lying. She's making stuff up. I'm like, but you can at least hear me out. Summer cuts me off and says, you know what? I think it's time for you to leave. I would like for you to leave my house. Oh. oh me you want me to leave and mind y'all i'm sitting down i'm comfortable we not up we not yelling at each other she's yelling at me but it's just like you for real you the one doing all this extra stuff you want me to leave but okay you know what i ain't trying to start no trouble this is your house i don't want to disrespect you or your house so you know i start walking towards the door summer's like oh yeah and leave my key too oh <sighs> Yo, I took the key off my key ring, laid the key on the kitchen table, and I walked out of her house. Y'all don't understand how confused that I was because it's just like, this girl never even made, like, she never raised her voice. She never got mad. I've never seen her in an angry light. And now it's like, who is she? And mm. also the fact that I didn't have an answer to any of my questions I was asking. She wasn't even willing to hear me out. And it's just like, I don't think that that was fair. Y'all, I went home. I tried to call Summer because maybe we're better. Like, you know, some people, they're not good at talking face to face. You have to, like, call them. I right. called straight to voicemail. I text. My text didn't go through. Oh, so I'm blocked. At this point, what am I supposed to do? It's late at night. I'm not about to drive over there. You got me blocked. I can't reach out to you. The only thing to do is to go to sleep and probably maybe try again tomorrow. Cool. I get in the shower, watch a little TV, scroll on my phone, and go to sleep. I'm asleep for maybe two, three hours. Next thing you know, I literally feel somebody tugging on my shoulder because I'm sleeping on my side. So they're like tugging on my shoulder to try to turn me over. Now, first instinct, I'm thinking I'm dreaming because I live alone. Nobody's ever coming to my house. And I know, like, I know I'm not tripping. Like, I'm I'm actually having a vivid dream, right? Wrong, y'all. I turn over and it's a flashlight gleaming in my face like i can't even see it's blinding me like what and i just start screaming like ah! <laughs> if you have one headphones <sighs> y'all somebody literally broke into my house they're in my room they're touching me and they have a flashlight <gasps> y'all the next thing i know i hear summer's voice like hey stop yelling stop screaming what you mean stop yelling stop screaming you literally walk me up in the middle of the night with a flashlight in my face and why are you in my house right because oh, i gave you a key but still why you didn't let me know you oh. was coming over it's like three four o'clock in the morning what are you doing <laughs> so i sit up and at this point i am living i'm like yo i've been trying to contact you i've been calling you i've been texting you she's like yeah i blocked you because i was upset oh miss i know how to communicate miss no, i'm no, very no. mature this this and that miss first of all girl not you put me at your house but gonna pull up to my house <laughs> oh you gotta go <laughs> hell be wrong with people me that's very mature she's like look Let's just start me there. out i still want to be with you we can still be together but you have to stop talking to polly don't listen to anything mm -mm. she says she's crazy mm -mm. she's obsessed with me at this point i'm completely turned off like honestly i don't want to have anything to do with you summer i don't like the way you went about things and i don't like the way you just barged into my crib in the middle of the night without any type of notice especially when you made me give your key back so what are you doing y'all she was disregarding everything i was saying she just kept saying so are you gonna talk to polly or not are you still gonna talk to her i don't want you talking to her i don't want you working with her don't listen to it and i'm like if everything she says is a lie why does it matter if i listen to her or not y'all summer stood there going on and on about how polly's crazy she needs help she needs a therapist she needs to go talk to someone blah 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 and i just like had to interrupt her like summer now it's your turn get out of my house and leave the key she's like what no are you taking up for her seriously like i literally just told you to get out of my house you're still talking to me about polly i don't care about polly right now it's you just told me to get out of your house clock in the morning you need to leave she's like well how are you gonna get to work in the morning your costume in the shop i'll walk leave i actually called in because like i was honestly too tired i could not go back to sleep i was really frightened by how summer just bars into my house like that so i called my supervisor like look i don't feel well i'm not able to make it in today let me put in a little pto shall we i usually clock in around eight o'clock y'all summer texted me at 805 and was like uh why aren't you at work 
why you know that I'm not at work? Are you at my job or are you outside of my house? Or like, what, what's going on with you? And I find it very crazy how now that you want to talk, you want to unblock me and question me. I ignored Summer. Honestly, I just wanted to catch up on my sleep, y'all. She kept calling, kept texting. I'm like, bro, leave me alone. She's like, what do you mean leave you alone? We were just talking. Everything was just good until you let Polly get into your head. I didn't let her get into my head. She told me some things I wanted to question you about, and you went all willy-nilly. Yo, I put my phone on the side of the bed on the floor just so I wouldn't feel it vibrate. And I kid you not, Summer called me over 50 times. Over 50 text messages within a time span of like three hours. Even some of the text messages like, what are you doing? Are you with Polly? Let me know. Like, what's going on? Like, what? For you to go to being so sweet, barely saying anything, so soft, to the way you was talking to me in those messages, like I wasn't anybody. Calling me everything but a child of God, but continuously calling and texting me. I don't understand. The next day I had a friend date one of my friends and thank you because I really needed to just release and vent and tell my friends about what's been going on with Summer. So we out eating and drinking, you know, catching up on each other and it's time now it's time for me to go home. Okay, cool. So, oh, I, I go home, Summer I walk out. in and I'm like, Summer it's funny because like I don't remember getting anything or bringing any food home, but my house smelled like food. Y'all, I turn on the light and Summer is sitting at my kitchen table with a whole full course meal prepared. How you get in my house, Summer? What are you doing? She's like, oh, I made a copy of the key. Duh, duh. What you mean, duh? If made a legal, copy if of the okay, key. Ow! Oh! Tell me more. Bitch, that's not crazy. You made a copy of my key? She's like, oh my God, yes, yeah, stop yelling. Like, come on, that's nothing new. That's the oldest trick in the book. I just want to eat. I want to talk about it. I want to get back to how we were. You let Polly come in between us. You still talking about Polly, bro. I told Summer, like, look, we're never talking again. You have really broken into my house. You shouldn't have made a copy of the key, especially not without letting me know. I want you to leave, and I want you to leave me alone. And honestly, all the stuff that Polly is saying about you is looking towards to be true because you're acting very crazy right now. You told me stories of people literally coming and begging your family to, like, bro, please tell Summer to leave me alone, and you won't leave them alone. Summer looked me right in my face and told me whether it's true or not, I'm not going nowhere. Oh, you getting up out of here, big dog. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's moments like these, we really have to thank God for having nosy neighbors because my neighbors was definitely super duper nosy. My neighbor knocked on the door, I told her to come in. She's like, is everything okay? I heard you asking someone to leave, but I still see that someone is still here. Would you like for me to call someone? Summer's like, wow, you're going to let her call the police on me? You already know I have stuff yeah, on my record. Yeah. No, I don't know because you're ah. Miss Perfect. You told me that you haven't dated anyone. You haven't gotten into any trouble. You're, you're At this point, you're an angel. She's like, if she calls the police on me, I could go to jail for a very long time. Well, I guess that means you should probably leave my house and stop making spare keys to come back to my house. Y'all, Summer knocked all the food off the table, got my key, threw it at me, walked out the crib, and slammed the door. That was the last time I seen her physically, yes, but she would constantly call me, make fake pages, send other people to try to get me to talk to her, and all this other crazy stuff. Like, I was done with Summer, y'all. It's so crazy how I was telling my friend, like, oh, she just seems too perfect. She I think it's crazy how she makes story times on them. Because I'd be scared they'd pop up again. I would never want to speak of you ever again. Uh-uh. So, like, spice it up. We don't argue. Like, really be careful what y'all wish for. Seriously. About a month later at work, Polly came to me and showing me a mugshot that Summer had. And it's crazy that she had it for being a stalker and a saw. <gasps> hmm. So, not only did you move on, you moved on and you started acting crazy with the next person. Thank you. I dodged the bullet. I really appreciate it. Team Twinkles, if y'all enjoyed this story time, please give this video a big thumbs up. Meet me in the comments. Y'all already know after every story time, I love to chat with y'all. I like to see where y'all at with it. Thank you guys so much for the support. Remember, if you want to send me something, please send me a message so that I can send you. I ain't gonna lie, this sound like you. The address. Make sure y'all subscribe so you don't miss a video and turn on your post notifications on so you'll get it as soon as possible. Don't be late to the party. And until then, we'll meet again for the next story time. <laughs> that was a great story time child first of all i haven't told story times again all the story times i've told I, I would love to retell them but i haven't because i feel like i need to be more in depth with them i gotta remember certain things girl i'm not 21 no more so whew, but we're gonna figure it out but that was a great story time child y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below i'm done with this video Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.